In this video, we will learn decay factor and decay rate. First of all, we will uh, remember our uh, formula for an exponential function. It is n equal to p times a to the t power, where p is an initial value and a is a factor. Our initial value is always has to be greater than zero. But there are two cases about uh, as a factor. A can be greater than one, but uh, uh, greater than zero, but less than one. Or A can be greater than one. In the first case, we call this decay factor. And we are using the formula A equal to one minus R. A is a factor, R is a rate. In second case, when A is greater than one, we call this a growth factor. We will use the formula A equal to one plus R, where A is a factor and R is a rate. Let's review the first example. An exponential function has a decay factor of 0 0.09. What is the percentage decay rate? We know the decay factor, it is 0 0.09. So our A is 0 0.09. Because we have a decay factor, we have to use the formula a equal to 1 minus r. We will substitute 0 0.09 into this formula for a. We have to subtract 1 from both sides. And we have to divide both sides by negative 1. So our r is 0 0.91. We have to multiply this decimal by 100%. And our final answer is 91%. Now we will review the second example. Suppose that f uh, is an exponential function with percentage decay rate of 9% in that uh, f of 0 is equal to 3. Find a formula for f of x. Again, we have to read carefully because if we talk about an exponential function, we have to use the formula n equal to p times a to the t power. p is an initial value when t is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0. In our case, it will be x equal to 0. And the initial value is given to us right here. So p is equal to 3. What else is given to us? A decay rate of 9%. Decay rate, so we have to use the letter r is equal to 9%. Don't forget to change percent into the decimal number. Now we need to find the factor because we have two formulas to find A. We need to read carefully. We are talking about decay rate. So we have to use this formula. A equal to 1 minus R. We will substitute 0 0.09 into the formula for A, and we calculate A is equal to 0 0.91. We are ready to substitute everything into the equation. N equal to 3 times 0 0.91 to the t power. Now we we'll have to think um, what we were asked to do to find the formula for f of x. 
So we have to rewrite this formula in terms of f of x. So f of x is equal to 3 times 0 0.91 to the power x. And this is our final answer.